buddy. These guys are mutts, and mm -hmm. they're wonderful mutts. Oh. And hopefully, um, mm, you're a pedigree not, to me, Angelique. Mm. They're really not on the special needs uh, program because uh -huh. all they need is a home. Uh -huh. That's what they need. Now you've only had them three days. Yes. So typically, what happens when when you bring a dog in to the Southampton Animal Shelter? What happens on the, what? What do you do first with a new? Recruit. Well, first is medical. They mm -hmm. get a complete medical workout, mm -hmm. uh, work up just to be sure they don't have any diseases that uh, they can pass to the other dogs mm -hmm. and to see if they need anything. Look at this dog. <laughs> if they need anything uh, in terms of medicine, mm -hmm. uh, we make sure that their rabies shots and all their other shots are mm -hmm. up to date. Uh, after they pass the, um, the, the medical um, checkout, they're then uh, analyzed by the behaviorists mm -hmm. who uh, do all kinds of things to see what they're good at, what they like to do. They try to bring out their personalities mm -hmm. so that we know whether they should be on the special needs program or whether they're the kind of dog that loves cats or <laughs> wants, want to live with other dogs. Mm -hmm. And it's on and on and on. And then they're, um, they're taken from there and hopefully we get some publicity out with their personalities. Mm -hmm and uh, get them home. Ah, oh. well we visited with Carol and I would like for our viewers to see a little bit about your private office right there uh, at the doghouse. It's wonderful, uh. I love it. <laughs> Hi sweetheart, who is this? Rocket. Rocket, come on in, come on in Gina. Hi Rocket. Gina works with How me. And this is little Squawket. Hi. This is a little baby. What you doing, honey? You had such a tough time. He's one year. One year old. The reason why I like to use the baby food is that I want them to know that my hand is a good thing. And mm, right, now that's a, a success. This <laughs> is a little too easy. And <laughs> that it tastes good. And now you see he's licking the food, mm -hmm. but he's licking me. Mm -hmm. And so he gets to know, you know, what I smell like, what I feel like and that I'm just going to love him to death, and I'm probably going to adopt him this <laughs> afternoon. Because, I mean, this is the easiest case you've ever had in special needs. So there we have Carol in her office, and um, it was really interesting. And I'm so sorry we lost a lot of the tape of the whole facility, and also the, the people on the staff, which were really incredibly devoted my goodness, I think that that is, it'd be so hard to beat a staff that's that committed to um, I mean, animal I, welfare. I, I mean, it's wonderful. I, mm -hmm. I am a bit prejudiced, but I will say that I've worked in many different shelters and we, we are the best. Mm -hmm. And we're going to continue to improve mm -hmm. and be super best. Ah. Now, what I, I know that you have a grand benefactor but you also have to raise money to keep this going. Absolutely, especially uh, all the costs involved with starting a shelter. There's so many things that we need and, and so many, we have a large wish list. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a wonderful fundraiser this summer. Mm -hmm. uh, we just had a fundraiser uh, in Hampton Bays at the Barney uh -huh. Barns. So uh -huh. we're appealing to the people um, who have money mm -hmm. uh, who can, and love animals. Mm -hmm. And we're also appealing to the community. That's mm -hmm. our goal is to uh, mm -hmm. be something for everybody. Mm -hmm. The main thing is that the dogs get adopted into an appropriate home and the cats. Uh -huh. and Let's the not parrots. forget the cats. Well, what about Let's the not parrots the cats. and the squirrels? Oh, wow. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. We, so. we have a uh, quite a, uh, an array. Uh, uh -huh. Yes, yes. I think people will be amazed to know how clean rabbits are. Uh, you know, they really are clean. I'm, yes, well, I'm, I don't do rabbits, okay. <laughs> but uh, they are clean. Uh -huh. yes. Well, do you work with the cats at all? No, I don't do cats you either. You just do, you specialize with dogs. Now, how could I do anything else with this? Oh I mean, my goodness. These Look dogs at this. are just so, so wonderful. These are precious dogs, they really are. I'm falling in love. That's the problem is you meet all these rescues and then you don't, uh, you can't keep them all. <laughs> right, well I do, in another part of our program we take them home for a home evaluation. Mm -hmm. And um, that's always interesting and it gives you a lot of feedback so that when people come to adopt the dog, we can tell them 
you know, if they like to jump on the table and uh -huh. eat your food or mm -hmm. whatever they do, uh -huh. uh, but they don't do that. Right. Uh, so it just gives a complete picture to the to the person, um, and there's no surprises. Right. Uh, we tell them the good and the bad, mm -hmm. and they get they. Uh, then the dogs don't get returned. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, it was interesting when I adopted Nicolette, they started saying, oh, you know, that dog is squeals and she's so loud, loud and that dog is definitely not a lap dog. And she is the biggest lap dog yeah. of many people that see yeah. her here. And I think that sometimes, Carol, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like dogs react differently to different people. And also, when they're more comfortable, when they know it's for real, then they become attached. And they, you can get things out of love. We call this segment the power of love. Yeah. And the reason we call this the power of love is because of the way that you handle. And I have seen some ferocious cases come into your, your thing, and they're like become like this, where they just like, Holy carols, I'm so happy. <laughs> You're amazing. Well, I'm with glad them. Uh -huh. to hear you say that. But uh -huh. I mean, when you think about it, these two little dogs were were in Georgia two days ago and here they are on TV. Incredible. <laughs> so, and I know so, you never know what's gonna happen in life. These are both very precious, adoptable dogs. Well, dogs are emotional, dogs uh -huh. are more human than you really think. Oh. And if you can reach into their hearts, mm -hmm. that's when you really have done a wonderful thing, and they know it. You know what, Carol? I'm not sure that uh, calling dogs human it does them justice. No. I think in some ways they're so much better. They don't treat us the way that we have treated them in so many things since I've been working with animals now and finding out how uh, humanity, it even makes me question the name humanity because the atrocities that happen to these little fellows in uh, puppy mills and a lot of the different things that are going on, it just opened my eyes. And, um, you know, I originally started out with Eastminster, which was about, you know, a takeoff on Westminster and about dogs that were like these months that wanted to put time to shine and, mm -hmm. and put them so that they could actually um, be show dogs too. Yeah. But then when we did the radio show and I started opening my eyes and hearing the stories that have happened to animals yeah. all over the world. Well, that's it's another, just, that has to be another segment because yeah. uh -huh. sometimes I leave there smiling and other times I'm in tears. Yeah. So. It, it's emotional, isn't it? It's very emotional. It's emotional. But if you're not emotional with, with a dog, you shouldn't be there. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's love, it's giving yeah. love, and you get it lots in return. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at this baby. Oh, it's wonderful. Oh and and uh, some of your therapy, I know that you use the physical massage. I saw some of the dogs that came in that were just like nervous and tense, and you know, I wanted to like back out of the, the, mm -hmm. <laughs> the door as quickly as possible. But very quickly, you, because of the music that you used in the setting, they became very, very calm mm -hmm. almost immediately. And it, it was, that's why I wanted to call it the power of love. Oh, hello, hello. How are you? Do you want to be adopted? Do you want a family? Yes, I think Angelie wants to have a family. So somebody that's out there that wants to adopt a pet can certainly come. And even if you don't have room in your house or you don't have the circumstances, you can always go get a dog, a puppy, a rabbit, or a, a, a cat. Or be a volunteer. We need mm -hmm. volunteers. Yeah. Gina and I work so hard. We mm -hmm. have 18 to 20 dogs now in our program. And mm -hmm. uh, it takes a lot out of you, and you hate to neglect one dog for another, mm -hmm. and we would love to have help. Mm -hmm. Well, I wish Gina could come over for a second, but she has got Lexus toned down, so Lexus has been very quiet and very docile, and she's just right there on the floor with Lexus, <laughs> keeping it very, very calm. So it's, it's really a wonderful thing. Well, Lexus feels how she feels. Mm -hmm. They yeah. do. They know uh -huh. that they, he, she knows that Gina loves her. So yeah. that's all that matters. And that is that that is all that matters. It really is. Well, do you have anything that you would like to address to our viewers and tell them specifically well, about? I, you know, lots of times people say, "Well, you spend so much time with animal, animals, but what about the children in the world?" 
Well, I have to tell you that, uh, or the people in the world, but there is a carryover. Uh, many times I get volunteers who are suffering from depression, uh, have had uh, really bad situations at home. Uh, this is treatment for them. I have uh, children with uh, attention deficit disorder. Uh, I teach them how to really focus and plan programs, and it's treatment for them. So it just keeps on going and going, and uh, you don't just give to the dogs. They give, the dogs give so much back to you. Mm -hmm. They really do, and also it's uh, important for people that are considering maybe adopting a pet Children that live in families that have pets have higher attendance in school. They also have uh, um, better recovery rates, as do adults. People, they've done research on this and found that people, adults, heal from he uh, heart operations. Yes. Um, of course, we've talked about the benefits that they can even stick out cancer. There's so many things yes. Yes. that dogs are able to do. And, and with children, they learn responsibility. Right. That is very, very important. It is important. Yes. Yeah, yeah. they do, and that's a, a very important aspect. It really mm -hmm. is. Well, can you tell us about any other dogs here that people might be wanting to adopt? Well, we just have so many dogs. Uh, they all have a story. Um, they all uh, are looking for happy homes. So if you come in and you tell me what you want and what fits into your life, I will find you somebody <laughs> or some dog or somebody. <laughs> you found a couple of dogs yourself now. You want to yes. talk about your own dogs and yes. why you picked those? Well, they pick me, actually. <laughs> um, and they do. Dogs they do. do. They oh, pick yes. us. Oh, yes, yes, they yes. They pick us. Yes. My one little dog was found uh, running in the woods in East Hampton. Uh, he was full of infection, and they took him to the dog pound. No one called. And he's a purebred Bichon, um, and he's just wonderful. And we've had him a few years, and then we uh, had a dog come up from St. Croix that they were going to euthanize because the shelter there doesn't have much money for medications. And some um, lovely, uh, wealthy woman decided to bring the dog up here. So the dog was put in a crate and mailed, uh, <laughs> flew into Kennedy, mm -hmm. and a car service <laughs> from another volunteer uh -huh. picked him up and brought him to my house mm -hmm. uh, in Brooklyn. And I put him into my car and drove him out. <laughs> Honey, just control yourself. <laughs> Drove him out to the shelter and fell in love with him, and now I have him. Aww. So he was found on the streets in St. Croix, and he's wonderful, so. That's great. And well, so. Carol, thank you for being with us today. I hope you come back and share more of the stories. Absolutely. Thank I have a story you. a minute. <laughs> <laughs>